My name's Guy Hassinger. I work for the RG Group, and today we're going to review the proper procedure on how to make a hose assembly and why we do the things that we do when we're making a hose assembly. First thing we're going to do, we have our nicely cut piece of hose. You always want to make sure that the edges are straight, not curved. Depends on what blade you're using. I recommend a straight blade or what they call a wavy blade to get a good cut through the metal of the hose, and you want both your ends to be straight. The next thing we do once we cut our hose is we're going to shoot what they call projectile through the hose. Now this gets it to an ISO cleanliness that's in the book. You can look it up. It's through a system called Ultra Clean that we also distribute for. So if you're interested in one of these pieces of equipment, give me a holler. We'll make sure you get one. Projectile goes in. The piece of equipment, it's nice and easy. End of the hose gets flush on here. It, it's operated with shop air. Comes out the other side. And as you can see, the naked eye can see 40 microns of dirt. Typically, what people do in the market is they'll take just a normal air hose after they cut and they blow it out. Well, depending on your pump and your cylinder, there's still dirt in here that's going to cause a lot of problems down the line on your system. So now that we have a clean hose, the next thing we want to do is couple. Every manufacturer is a little different. We use a brand called Parker. And because we don't have a, a depth gauge handy, it's okay to use the collar of the fitting. This is how we're judging how deep the fitting is going into the hose. So we put our little, what we call scribe line there. That way when we're pushing this down on, we know how far to put this in so it's deep enough not to blow off. We use a little bit of hose lube, which you can get anywhere you bring the hose down to where it sits on the line, and the reason that you put the line below is after it's crimped, this is a safety measure that you have, that you'll still be able to see your scribe line. That's very important. So you come over to your crimper. Every crimper's a little bit different, so refer back to your manufacturing guide. Of course, we're sell Parker, so we use Parker Crimper. What we have in there right now is we have a dash 8 hose so we're going to grab a dash 8 die it sits in your crimper like i said every manufacturer for crimper is a little bit different you can check your own guide inside the die cage is a, is a depth to make sure that you're resting on your ledge like i said every crimper is a little different this is a bottom out crimper. When it bottoms out, you have the perfect crimp. You can also notice that you can see your scribe line yet to ensure this was put into the machine properly and crimp. Every piece of hose has crimp specifications. The way you check a crimp spec is you use calipers on all four sides. You add them together, subtract, divide by four. The average should be within ten thousandths of your crimp diameter. In this case, it would be between 0.945 and 0.965 because we're using the number eight hose, okay? The next thing we do is we just wipe off the end of the hose, and now what you have is you have a hose that's getting ready to go out the door, but there's one thing missing. You wanna make sure it's clean. Why? Because if this goes in the back of somebody's pickup truck, rolls around in there, and then they go put it on their system, what do you think's inside this hose that now is going right into your system? So we use another system from Ultra Clean for capping purposes. This is a, just a nifty little shrink wrap cover. It slides right over top of your fitting. And then it's you push this in and it's shrunk down to form fit over your fitting. It's not gonna come off. And now you have a perfectly sealed capped hose assembly. You can do the exact same thing to the other end. This also has a little strip here. When you're ready to use it, you pull it off, throw this in the garbage, and you're ready to go. There's a complete, clean hose assembly.